you heard, we speak bass telepathy. Yo, I'm Snake. And I'm Wolf. And shout out to Drama Bass Night TV with the upbeats. Woo! What you heard, we speak bass Well, uh, we've been looking forward to it all this week. It's nice to be back in Seville. Yeah. We've, uh, we've just come from Amsterdam and it's been raining and cold and <laughs> nasty. So it's beautiful to be here and it's, you know, what, 30 degrees today. Yeah. Very excited about that and the, and the party. Yeah. You can it's wicked. We've just come out of two weeks in the studio with the noisier guys. So we're really excited to test out a bunch of new music for the crowd tonight. And last time they went nuts when we were here for the festival, so we're pretty excited to play to the crowd again. Yeah, yeah. it seemed like we had some pretty good fans here, so I'm pretty amped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've just, just been working with the guys, the noisy guys in the studio, but as of yet, we can't really announce what it's for. For a little project, like a collaboration project we're doing. Yeah, yeah it was uh, the transition from... Yeah, well, we that was sort of out of high school. We were both working yeah. part time. We'd set up a studio uh, in the place we were living together in a flat. Um, and it was we at, at the time. I think in two thousand and one, we didn't really think we were gonna be, you know, do anything great with the music at that stage. We were just writing it because we really enjoyed doing it and playing it to our friends, and then. I think things escalated really quickly after that. Yeah, we started, there was a little residency that we had in Wellington at a tiny club called Valve. And that kind of helped because we started playing our music in the club quite early on, which helped develop our sound. And then shortly after that, we got picked up by a record label in New Zealand called Fable. And they gave us some good direction Mm. and kind of, I guess in a roundabout way ended up leading us on to our contact with digital which then helped with us getting kind of a name outside of New Zealand and which eventually led to us signing to Bear Company which was when we were kind of able to start thinking about doing it full time. Jeremy can answer the dancing question because he does the most of it. So. Um, I mean, we both started, we both got into drama bass because we both loved going to parties. We Rumors, would, man. Yeah, we would literally, we were like 16, 17, and we would be the first ones at the club and the last ones to leave and just completely sober. Like, we didn't drink or anything. It was just like, just dancing and we loved it. Just, yeah, like straight out of high school, we'd yeah. sneaking into raves Yeah, really early. Only ones on the dance floor. <laughs> going <laughs> and it's just kind of carried through and so with performance I love the music and I love the energy you get from it so I can't help but jump around and yeah it's just just what it is <laughs> I think it helps too like if you're if you're doing that you get into it you, like you feel the music and it helps you perform a lot yeah. better yeah it's, it's the one <laughs> I don't know, I'd say we're both... Jeremy's obviously the serious guy. I'm the serious one, obviously, yeah. <laughs> no, I think we're both, like, a lot of what has kept the upbeats going and, like, really positive is the fact that we both are not that serious. Yeah. It might, it might appear on stage that maybe there's very different 
uh, characteristics in us, but uh, normally just like this, it's, it's, it's pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah. We just take the piss out of each other, basically. We're both, we're both clowns. Yeah. yeah. He may he may look intelligent, but don't be fooled. <laughs> Is what he's trying to say. <laughs> I'll be the serious one. I couldn't perform without dancing. <laughs> you, it's really bad. That's how I keep time. It's like with my hips and my neck. And yeah, uh, he does say uh, he's doing the chicken thing. He's yeah. like bobbing the seed. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dylan? You gonna jump around like crazy? You can go on. Yeah, I do a little bit of jumping around now and then. He's actually the legendary stage diver. So we did this tour with the shapeshifter guys in New Zealand end of last year we did a collaboration EP thing and <clears throat> it was the last show of the tour it had been reasonably manic and the MC for our set Tiki was like okay the two of you it's the last show of the tour you've both got to get in the crowd you've both got to stage dive like okay cool so I ran in and jumped in and was like yay come back and Dylan's just Dylan's still standing behind the DJ booth because we're, it's still, we're still playing but he's just standing there kind of looking at the corner of the room I was wondering what was going on I was like, Dylan, wolf head. Dylan, you're supposed to have like jumped into the crowd. Where's what's the wolf doing? And then next thing, so I go to play another song, and next thing I look over, and Dylan's like scampered off into the corner and is climbing the speaker stack, climb the speaker stack, and full actually as well, dived off the speaker stack and went like back to the crowd, so blind into the crowd off the speaker stack. Yeah, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't remember that. He's the dark horse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, Crushington we haven't done a lot of recently because we've been concentrating on the, the drama based stuff. Uh, but we do have another project called Society of Numbers, which is like kind of hip hop. We're working with uh, a guy from the States, uh, MC Armani Rain from Atlanta. And we've got a whole bunch of tunes that we're just waiting to release. So. Yeah, and we've actually just signed an EP onto Noisier's uh, division label, which we're really excited about. Yeah. Uh, well, we're currently, I mean, after this EP is finished with the noisier guys, which it uh, this thing that we're doing with the noisier guys, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, we're working on an album, yeah, our own album uh, at the moment, and yeah, I, I'm not sure how long that'll take, but that's that's taking our full attention at yeah. the moment. So that's I'm actually just moving over to London so that we can finish off the album in London over summer, and it'll be for Vision again for Noisier's label. Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Jeremy. And we're the Upbeats. Yeah. Sevilla. See you later. <laughs>